Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. In today's video, we're gonna be providing a follow-up on Cartoon Studios. This is one we initially covered about eight months ago. It's involved in the media content creation space, obviously in the animated or cartoon niche, and a lot going on at this organization since our last update. Now, before we get into it, please take a second, hit the like button, you guys. It's a huge help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to join. And let me know in the comment section below if you're currently holding shares of Cartoon Studios, what you think about this firm compared to their peers in this space, and your outlook for 2024. Now, with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be providing an update on Cartoon Studios Incorporated. Trades on the New York Stock Exchange in America under the ticker symbol T-O-O-N or TUNE, which is very appropriate considering this is a media content creation company that focuses on the cartoon niche. Now we've covered Cartoon Studios on the channel previously about eight months ago back in August of last year. But as you can see in the press release section here, a lot of new updates since that initial coverage, including the most recent news that just came out this morning talking about Cartoon Studios partnering with the world's largest digital collectibles company. And there you can see additional details about this partnership with Vivi, launching the first ever line of Stan Lee limited edition digital collections, a mix of physical and digital collectibles. Now, if we take a step back and scroll up to the chart, if we look at a one month view here, you can see a fairly strong bullish formation beginning really since the middle of March when Cartoon Studios was in the $1.29 range. They ran all the way up to a local high on April 12th of $1.93. And if we now zoom out to a six month view, again, you can see that general feeling of up and to the right since bouncing off a dollar in late October of last year and really quite an active chart and ticker in terms of price action. Now, because it's been a while since our initial coverage on Cartoon Studios, I quickly wanted to jump over to the corporate website. I'll leave this linked in the video description below. Then we're gonna talk about a very interesting article suggesting the potential of 700% upside in the Cartoon Studios name. So if we go over to the corporate landing page, you can see headquartered in Beverly Hills, California, with offices in New Jersey, Toronto, Vancouver, and London, so representation all over the world, Cartoon Studios is a global media company developing, producing, marketing, and licensing branded animated entertainment properties and consumer products for media and retail distribution. Now the company has grown rapidly both through organic and acquisition activity with the goal of becoming the world's leading animated entertainment company. They now own or control a catalog of more than 3,800 episodes of animated programming and more than 20,000 animated episodes under license through the Toon Media Network. Now, speaking of brands and content, if you jump over to the brands portion of the website, you can see some very familiar names, especially if you have kids, including Shaq's Garage, Wolfgang Puck's Secret Chef Academy, which is actually a new addition that's coming soon, Stan Lee's Superhero Kindergarten, again, making reference to the Stan Lee line that we saw in that press release that just came out this morning. They've got the Rainbow Rangers, Llama Llama, which is a personal favorite in our household, along with Thomas Edison's Secret Lab, Baby Genius, and the Secret Millionaires Club. And this one, interestingly enough, is a play on the popular investing icon, Warren Buffett, as he mentors a group of entrepreneurial kids and the adventures that ensue. So you can see a very fun lineup, a well-diversified lineup in terms of interests, genders, ages, but all within the cartoon niche, in addition to the production and distribution capabilities of Cartoon Studios. Now where the story gets really interesting is if you pop over to stocknewstrends.com, they actually put out a report on Cartoon Studios. This is where you see that suggestion of a 700% or plus 700% potential upside for a little known Beverly Hills company that owns the largest global animation network on YouTube. And according to them, this is just the beginning, making this an opportune time to start your research or due diligence on Cartoon Studios. 
Now, continuing on the trend of news, you can see Cartoon Studios also recently announced the major expansion of the Stanley business with the launch of their dedicated Stanley store on Amazon.com and that partnership with the world's largest digital collectibles platform, VV, and the Fidgetal Collections, which we looked at in the intro. Now, in addition to that, they lay out five reasons why they're excited about Cartoon Studios, and that's where we're going to spend the remainder of today's video. So first and foremost, you guys, is analyst coverage. I've learned during my time in this space that it's extremely difficult to get Wall Street analyst attention. And once you have it, it can definitely move a lot of eyeballs onto a stock in a very short amount of time. Now, Don James, one of their analysts is James McKillery. He's bullish on Cartoon Studios. He's put out a $10 price target. Again, in relation to where they're trading now in the mid $1.50 range, definitely a very favorable price target. And based on the time that this article was put together, that represents a 941% upside potential or about 700% upside potential based on their most recent opening when this article was put together at the $1.24 price point. So that's where the title of this article actually gets the 700% figure from. Now, secondly, is the explosive growth potential. We looked at the catalog of content that this company has within their portfolio. They're looking to flood the market, again, with a diverse array of captivating storytelling, ranging all different types of interests from food and beverage, cooking, investing, automotive with Shaq's Garage. You can see a variety of different themes in their content. Their success with streaming, which in contrast to most streaming services, was actually able to reach break-even status in just three years within its operation. The intellectual property that's associated with this space, so all of the content that they've put together and the IP, the narratives, the characters behind that. And then finally, the visionary leadership with the addition of Greg Golden as SVP of Development and Production and the track record behind him that really sets them up for success moving forward and looking for additional blockbuster content or results to provide to shareholders. So this is a look at the chart on Cartoon Studios, very similar to what we looked at in the intro, but a one-year view. Now again, based on that $10 price target, you're looking at plus 700% upside if the analyst and his prediction on price comes to fruition. And that's really built upon the backs of some of the news we've discussed, including the expanding horizons with Shaq Scratch, the acquisition and investments that's been going on at this company, including WOW Unlimited, Beacon Media Group, and Ambia TV, and the content and content libraries that are associated with those firms, along with strong actual revenue results, including 10.1 million and 35.3 million being reported for the three and nine month period ending September 30th of last year. And they then note that that $10 price target is built using a 4.5 times multiple on sales and a Q4 2024 run rate revenue estimate of about $72 million. Now, if that's not enough, the global animation market is predicted to balloon to $779 billion by 2032. So this is an extremely high growth sector, really being driven by a number of key trends we're seeing in the VR, virtual reality world, the AI, artificial intelligence space, and the rising adoption of visual effect technology, allowing this content to become even more engaging and desirable to viewers. Now, another thing we're seeing in this space is strategic partnerships between notable existing brands. And because of the impressive IP portfolio behind Cartoon Studios, it really makes them a desirable partner in this space. Now, of course, the strategic acquisitions also help bolster the company's overall profile. And earlier we mentioned that acquisition of Canada's WOW Unlimited Media, which adds over 2,000 channels under the channel Federator Network to its repertoire. So each and every month, this content is generating billions and billions of views on YouTube. And that's as they enter 2024, which is expected to be a banner year with a tsunami of content flooding the market, really putting them on the same playing field as some of the biggest players in this space, including Netflix, Nickelodeon, YouTube Kids. And as you'll see here, 
Based on the November 2023 rankings in the iOS App Store, Cartoon Channel actually had a higher overall ranking than any other competitor in this space. And keep in mind, they've now added Greg Golden, who's known as a luminary in the animation and content development space, which could open up the potential for other collaborations with industry titans such as Disney, Netflix, and really household names in the animated content media space. So with that being said, you guys, Cartoon Studios definitely offers a unique investment opportunity if you're looking for exposure to the kids or children media space in 2024. They've had some key additions to their leadership team in addition to key acquisitions throughout previous quarters and years. They're starting to see meaningful revenue growth and grabbing the attention of analysts who are putting out very optimistic price targets about this organization. Now I'd be curious to hear your thoughts in the comment section below, specifically if you're already holding shares of Cartoon Studios, your outlook for this sector overall, and how you think this company stacks up to some of their peers. If you're still watching the video at this point, hopefully you found some value, so make sure you hit the like button. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, we just crossed the 43,000 subscriber milestone and we'd love to have you as part of the community. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.